They can take away my life. They can make me out as a monster. They can treat me as a monster, but they can't take away my heart. In my heart, I know I did not do these alleged disgusting acts. My wife has been my only sex partner, and that was after marriage. Our love continues. You are hearing, as we are for the first time, this breaking news, Jerry Sandusky speaking out from behind bars on the eve of his sentencing. The former Penn State coach uh, still proclaiming his innocence and even blaming the victim. Uh, he is convicted of 45 counts of child sex abuse and could be sentenced tomorrow to the rest of his natural life, the rest of his life in prison. Let's listen to more as we're just getting it in of uh, Jerry Sandusky convicted convicted of 45 counts involving pedophilia uh, to his statement, apparently talking somebody on the phone, some news organization from behind bars. Listen to this. The young man who is dramatic, a veteran accuser and always sought attention, started everything. He was joined by a well-orchestrated effort of the media, investigators, the system, Penn State, psychologists, civil attorneys and other accusers. They won. I've wondered what they really won. Attention, financial gain, prestige will all be temporary. Wow, he's really playing himself as the victim. How about they've won the truth? How about they've won justice? How about they've won some kind of closure for the abuse that they suffered? A uh, Wendy Walsh, psychologist, uh, as you hear his voice, what I hear is a ginormous pity party and often when people do the worst things, somehow they convince themselves that they are still the victims. Of the statements Wendy. of O.J. Simpson immediately after his trial, Jane. Um, you know, what I hear here is somebody not really talking to uh, us. He's talking to potential inmates. Remember, he's going to be in a very unsafe place for the rest of his life. If he can blame the man, if he can blame the system, if he can blame everybody else and keep proclaiming his innocence, then maybe they won't think he's a pedophile, who is a very vulnerable person, by the way, in a jail.